I will quit radio today. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Rasa Yusenita, you're listening to What Do People Do, and I'm recording radio today. So today I'm recording the last radio show, and we counted that I did 115 uh, shows, like episodes already. In the show I usually ask people about their choices and why they were scared, and most of them sort of say that they reached a point when they weren't learning anymore and now three years later I'm about to go through that change myself and I so totally get uh, how they all felt but I also have uh, 115 success stories uh, that I did myself, I interviewed those people, how their life changed for the better and how no matter how scary it was uh, they sort of believed in themselves uh, and I know how all motivational this sounds but um, I'm at a point of my life when I need to grow and it's time for change and it's fucking scary but I am going, I'm gonna do it. Let's go. Let's go. I think that such big part of value like my value is in the stuff that I do and I know that I need to change that but I'm scared that people won't like the new show that I'm about to do I'm scared that like this was the best thing I ever came up with and I won't do anything else that's of value I'm scared that uh, if I quit now, like I put so much work in this show and I've obviously like I developed a lot and stuff, but now I really feel like the show, it took three years for it to become like known and for it to have like very, like a loyal audience. And now when, I've, when I'm comfortable and when I'm safe, after a really long time, like I'm saying no to everything and starting fresh again. Mm. And I think that feeling, it's really exciting. And I really want good things for myself. So I know I can't stay in that comfort zone. But at the same time, I understand that I need to stop thinking that my value is in the stuff that I do and people love me for the stuff that I do for work. Um, and I think a big part of this new journey and doing my own thing is doing the way I want to do it and building like a very healthy relationship with work as well. Work won't love you back. It's you will. <laughs> So I don't know, I feel, um, I feel like I worked so hard for something to grow big and once it grew big, I'm quitting. But I'm a coward as well. So I filmed this, I watched it and I realized one thing about myself I didn't realize before. I'm really scared to fail. Like I'm so scared to fail. And it's really not about the radio ending. I wanted the radio to end for a long time. It's about me failing this new thing. And that's so terrifying. It scares the shit out of me. No, actually I'm okay. I went to the gym and I thought like I enjoyed it so much for the last three years. I might enjoy it for the like last time as well. And I'm actually really grateful to have this opportunity. Like I was nobody. I didn't have any friends. I didn't properly speak Lithuanian. When I got this job and I like, I can tell how much I developed and how much I achieved in that time. So like, fuck this. I'll enjoy this last time. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's where the magic happens. Klausytojai, čia yra Saisenyta ir Laida, ką žmonės dirba. O šiandien su jumis iš šio žinų radio studijo sveikinasi jau paskutinę kartą, esame tiesioginėme eterėje. Yes, yeah, the live show. I only did live once, because uh, I wanted to try it. And it's really scary, because you have to have like headphones in, and then they tell you when to start, and then they tell you when you have to finish, and you have to finish like more or less exactly that moment, because they have like live news and stuff. So this is where they read the news and this is where guys sit. And for example, if you have someone calling you on the radio, Operator, operator, this is an emergency call. I want the uh, they will pick up and they will check if the person is normal and then they can go on live radio. And you can see all that sort of like a big screen with the red numbers. When I just started, it was like the scariest thing because I couldn't really concentrate on the person I'm talking to because I would only see like those seconds turning, flipping all the time. The radio is one of the outstanding developments of the 20th century. Um, I started working at the radio three years ago uh, when I just moved back to Lithuania. I didn't really have any friends. I didn't really know the street names. Virinus was a completely new city to me. And I just really had this idea to do what do people do. And I started with um, a magazine. We actually did podcasts with my friend Greta. We released, I think, four podcasts. Nobody really listened to them. They all had like 100 listens or something. Um, but then I went, I wrote a letter to the radio, actually a Facebook message to the director of the radio. And it was like a really, really long and super emotional. And the next day she replied, Okay, come over. Then I did uh, two pilot shows. And uh, twice the radio said that, um, No, it's not really good enough. And also for the first one, I really wanted to be like this super amazing radio presenter. You know, like someone who's like a proper journalist. journalist. And I tried to be like that image or I tried to think of what sort of journalist others would want me to be. And it gave me so much panic, like I was super scared here. Like I remember for the first time when I was about to walk into this room, I felt sick, like physically sick. I was about to throw up. And um, for the next time I went on this like huge mountain in the middle of Vilnius. I sat down and I thought of oh, what's wrong, why I'm so nervous. And for the first time I said, okay, I was failing at trying to be like somebody else. And for this time I went like, okay, this is my only go. I will try to do it the way I imagine. Uh, how like I will try to do a show that I would myself want to listen to or I myself would be like really comfortable doing. And I recorded and then the radio said, Nobody really listens to the radio over the summer. So, you know, just go ahead and have your show. But I think I just annoyed them because I really, really wanted to have that radio show. I think that was a good lesson in life to just be the way you are and not try to be like someone might want you to be. Kažmonės dirba. Okay, so I'll say this in Lithuanian, because if you wake me up like in the middle of the night, I will still say it exactly the same and perfectly well, because I know these words like, by heart. Can go. I go? Sveiki visi žinių radio klausytojai. Čia yra Saisenyta ir Laida, ką žmonės dirba. Sveiki visi žinių radio klausytojai. Čia yra Saisenyta ir Laida, ką žmonės dirba. I will miss it so much. Sveiki visi žinių radio klausytojai. Čia you want me to do it again? Yes, I would love to do it again. Sveiki visi žinių radio klausytojai, čia yra Saisenyta ir Laida, ką žmonės dirba. O šiandien mano studijoje. In front of this microphone I interviewed uh, crazy, crazy people. Like, I interviewed a young priest uh, who realized he wants to be he wants to work at a church when he was in the 12th grade. And then he had to split up with his girlfriend and then continue studying. I interviewed a girl who worked uh, at a jail. She was volunteering there, uh, working with people who killed other people, but she wanted to give them a little bit of emotional support. And I think that's the sort of empathy we should really be talking about. But I think most importantly, I interviewed people who started their own businesses and 
I'm been I'm doing what I'm doing for almost three years, exactly how long the show is going on. And those interviews helped me to be where I am now because I used to come here every week and ask questions that matter to me. Like how you grow, what the hell do you do when you run out of money? Um, what do you do when you feel crazy anxiety and you can't fall asleep and you can't fall asleep at night? Um, so I talked about all of those things that I was going through building this and creating this project with uh, the most amazing people uh, who already had their businesses and could give me like proper mentorship. Um, so I think while getting my advice, I also helped a lot of people to get theirs. So I'm very proud of the show and I think I'm really proud of myself for doing it. But I think the most amazing thing in this studio that ever happened that I interviewed the love of my life, the guy who's behind this uh, camera filming me now. Jesus. Yeah, I think it's really sweet because uh, I didn't really have who to invite on the show that week. And then my cousin said, oh, and there's this crazy awesome photographer who's traveling the world, but now he's in Lithuania. Like you have to invite him. And then he came here to the studio and uh, I kept calling him Lukas all the time. Nepaskiu Lukas, nes vis nori sakyt Lukas, tai labai gerai. And I don't even think it was a very good interview. Apie patį Luko darbą. Atsiprašau Linas. Baisu, ta labai tik tu vardas Lukas. Ir afterwards we, we went for coffee and it was so nice. Um, so I'm very grateful for this radio to give me a chance to meet people I really love right now. Why this here? Thank you guys for watching this video. I just finished editing it and this is the last bit I'm recording because I wanted to say thank you to all our patrons. You guys make these videos happen and bit by bit at least in the future I can pay for my desk in the studio and then we have other goals to reach because it all takes time and money. So if you're not a patron yet, please consider becoming one three dollars five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars you know everything helps and we have a special promotion running now for a twenty dollar tier so uh, check it out here's the link somewhere there and if not if you're not ready yet uh, please subscribe stick around see what we do and share it with your friends because the next vlog is coming from London I'm here visiting my parents now and I'm also gonna be pitching our magazine different coffee places and shops, uh, bookshops, uh, so it starts selling in London fast. Also, the best way to support us is buying a magazine, so please consider checking out our shop where you can find volume one from Vilnius and read more amazing content about people who made the change, start working. We interrupt this program because this is the subscribe dog. Hello, I'm the subscribe dog. Please subscribe. 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 Mark.